Hi, and welcome to this NFL Fan Forum special. My name is Art, a.k.a. The Sea Cow, and this is my sidekick, John, a.k.a. The Cowlick. What's up? Thank you for joining us. Today, we're going to be talking about the playoff standings in the NFC going into Week 13. We're going to find out who the pretenders and the contenders are at this time. But first, our play of the day. Rookie out of South Carolina. Good snap. Charlton gets it away. A high spiraling kick. Spencer from his own 18. Spins a tackle. He runs into his own man. Now Spencer the other way. And he's got blockers in front. Spencer at midfield. Down the sideline. And Deontay Spencer will go the distance. Touchdown, Denver. Let's begin our discussion with the number seven seed in the NFC, and that would be the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are currently at six and six right now, and they're coming off a close overtime win over the Jacksonville Jaguars. However, in the past couple weeks, they've had an up and down schedule. They've beaten the Green Bay Packers, but yet lost to the Dallas Cowboys. So in your opinion, do you think this team is a contender or a pretender? In my opinion, I think they're a pretender because they almost lost to a terrible Jacksonville Jaguars team and they don't have anybody pretty much on defense. They do have good safeties, I'll admit that. They do have Jeff Gladney, but their rushing defense kind of sucks. It's not good and that's going to cost them a a few uh, like yards when in the running game whenever another team runs the ball they're gonna give up so many rush so much rushing yards so I think the defense is a concern but their secondary is actually looking pretty good but on their offense I know it looks good with Dalvin Cook Justin Jefferson Adam Thielen but their offensive line is not that great and because of this other defenses are going to come after Kirk Cousins and attack him and sack him so there's not really anything the offensive line can do or the defense can do from rushing so yeah I think they're not um, contenders because they're slow when it comes to uh, uh, trying to sack the quarterback and they just don't have a good offensive line so do you have the vikings as a contender or a pretender so i'll say that they're a contender i think they're a contender because kirk cousins has now been with this team for a couple years um him and dalvin cook are two outstanding players and i think they have a good chance of making a big case of uh being able to finally turn the corner and finally getting a win or two in the playoffs, um, especially when they're on. Uh, they, they've played some very good uh, teams, and they have found a way to beat some good teams. So I think they can do it. And also the wide receiver group is actually really good. Um, Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson, uh, they've really stepped up and done a lot. Uh, I think Kyle Rudolph's going to also get more involved as well. Um, As for the defense, like you said, uh, the safeties are very good. Uh, Harrison Smith to go along with uh, all the other, even the young guys. Uh, I mean, Anthony Harris is there. uh, But Dantzler, he's been showing some some good uh, play out there, and so is Jeff Gladney when he's healthy. Um, They're starting to get it, and they're starting to come around. Uh, So I I think that uh, they're going to be pretty good on the defensive side. Uh, It's just a matter that can they get some sacks and get some pressure on quarterbacks. Um, so I think that they're a contender if they're, if they're on and they're healthy, I think they're a contender. So that'll do it for our talking of the Minnesota Vikings. Let's go ahead and move on to the number six seed, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers led by Tom Brady. This team is again, up and down as well. Uh, one week they look really good. And then another week they look not so good, uh, especially against really good defenses. Uh, Tom Brady seems to have trouble. Um, so what do you think on this one? Do you think they're contenders or do you think they're pretenders? 100% contenders because you have Tom Brady, you have Ronald Jones, you have Leonard Fournette, you have Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, Antonio Brown, and Rob Gronkowski. And on offensive line, they have Tristan Wirfs, who already looks like a veteran tackle. You got Alex Kappa. You got so many more. And then on defense, you got Ndamukong Sue, William Galston. 
Devin White, Levante David, even our guy Shaquille Barrett, and Carl Carlton Davis, even Antoine Winfield, who already looks like a veteran safety, and he's a rookie as well. And they have a pretty easy schedule coming up. They have a very talented offense, a very talented defense, and their record is looking pretty good. And they just have a, a very e easy schedule ahead of them. So yeah, that's why they're contenders. So do you think the Buccaneers are a contender or a pretender? So I think they're pretenders. Uh, I think that uh, Tom Brady has been exposed the last several weeks as a quarterback that can't throw the deep ball with uh, with velocity and and speed. I think that defenders are baiting him to be able to throw the deep ball so they can intercept it more often. Uh, until that gets remedied, um, I think Tom Brady is only good on short and intermediate passes. And I think that secondaries and defenses are going to start to... Uh, plan for that and it's going to be difficult for Tom to to do the the opposite he's going to be hard pressed to find a running game uh Ronald Jones and Leonard Fournette are decent running backs and LaShawn McCoy is behind uh, the behind this scenes guy but he's getting old too uh they're gonna to have to really step up and give Tom the chance to help out because um otherwise if it's all on Tom Brady I really have a feeling that this team is a one and done in the playoffs uh, their defense is legit, I think, though. Their their sacks are very numerous. They have quite a lot. Um, and they're pretty decent in the secondary. But that's why I think that uh, they're pretenders this year. So let's move on from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And let's talk about the number five seed, Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks lately have been playing very inconsistent ball. Uh, one week the offense plays well, and then the defense doesn't play that well. And then... Now the offense is doing terrible and the defense is playing well. So what do you think? Do you think they're contenders or pretenders? I say they're contenders because, first of all, they have a fairly decent schedule for the last four games. They face the Jets, but then they face Washington, who just won against the undefeated Steelers to give them their first loss. So that's a tough game. Then they face the Rams, a very tough game. And then they face the 49ers for the last week. But that should be an easy win for them. And then if you move over to the depth chart, you have Russell Wilson, who is a star quarterback in the league. You have running back Chris Carson and Carlos Hyde. You have wide receiver DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. And then you have Will Disley at tight end, who hasn't been doing great lately. But that's just because they've always had him on the sideline. You have Greg Olson, who's now injured, but he's very, very good. And then on the defense side, you have Carlos Dunlap, a sacking machine. You have Jordan Brooks, who's a rookie. You have KJ Wright. You have Bobby Wagner. You have Shaquille Griffin, Jamal Adams, Quandre Diggs. All these guys are really good secondary players. They're very, very good. So that's why I think you guys are a contender. You have a great offense, a very talented defense, and a fairly decent schedule up ahead. So do you think your Seahawks are contenders or pretenders? So I'm looking at it, and I want to have lots of positivity towards this, but as pretenders, I have to say that the reason I would say they're pretenders is because, well, all of a sudden Russell Wilson seems to have hit a roadblock. His mental... Uh, go get him attitude uh, all of a sudden is taking a back seat to a hesitation that is worrisome. He's taking more sacks by holding the ball more. Uh, he's still throwing an interception now and again or turning the ball over on fumbles. Um, and he's not finding his deep ball like he was. And I really think there's something going on with this guy. I don't know what it is. Uh, I've never seen this before from him. He's usually very calm and collected. But I think something's going on upstairs, and I think that's a very bad sign. Uh, as for the wide receivers and everything like that, I think they're doing just great. And then we got Josh Gordon, who's coming up in a couple weeks. You know, so I mean, he has no reason to not find uh, receivers that should be getting open. Um, it's just a matter that he needs to figure it out. And if he doesn't, uh, this this team sinks and swims with him pretty much. Uh, the defense has de has really turned a corner. I really believe that. Uh, the acquisition of Carlos Dunlap and Jamal Adams coming back from injury has really picked this team up. Uh, the sacks are way up, which is great. Um, and an unsung hero in the middle is Puna Ford, along with Jaron Reed. 
those guys have really helped a run defense do actually very well. There was a couple runs by Gallman uh, that got through. I, I'll admit that. But other than that, it was a very stout defensive effort by the defense this last weekend against the Giants, who are an up-and-coming team. I, I really think they're a tough team to beat, as the Cardinals will find out this week. But I think that they're pretenders right now until, until Russell Wilson gets his confidence back, his mojo back. And that's what I think. So let's move on to the number four seed, New York Giants. The Giants at five and seven are not playing their record right now. They're on a four-game winning streak, and they're playing very well at this time. And they're figuring things out. Uh, Their defense is playing very well, and the offense is actually doing pretty decent too. So what do you think? Are they contenders or pretenders? They're contenders, 100%. Because after seeing how well they played against the Seahawks, I think they have a humongous chance at going to the playoffs and even the Super Bowl, possibly. Their defense is just looking outstanding right now. Their secondary is probably the best part with James Bradbury, Jabril Peppers, Logan Ryan, and Isaac Yadam, former Bronco. And their defensive ends and tackles are very very good especially leonard williams who has eight and a half sacks looking very good on defense and then on offense you have daniel jones who's actually playing like a star quarterback you have running back saquon barkley who's injured at the moment but wayne galman is playing very very well you have sterling Shepard, darius slayton and golden tate three star wide receivers who are looking amazing and you have tight end evan ingram It was looking amazing. I know they faced the Cardinals next, but the Cardinals are not playing that well. And I think the Giants have a chance to win against the Cardinals and the rest of their games because their defense and their offense is actually coming together. So I feel like they're going to go to the playoffs and possibly even further. So do you think the Giants are pretenders or contenders? So I'm going to say they're pretenders. I think that uh, Having a young quarterback like Daniel Jones is still suspect. He's playing okay, but he's not lighting up any scoreboards at this time. And now he's got an injury with his hamstring. And you're not going to have Colt McCoy lead you through the playoffs. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. So I think that that's their weak spot is uh, when they face a team that has a really good offense, a seasoned offense, and they get enough scoring going against a good defense. But again, they're vulnerable to the run. That's their biggest thing is uh, the Giants' run defense is okay, but it's not the greatest um, against really good rushing attacks. Their pass rush is pretty good, and, of course, their secondary is actually really good. So teams that pass could have trouble, but I think that uh, if they have a good running game, uh, I think that uh, this could be probably either a one or possibly a second-round playoff team, and that's what I see. So now let's move on to the number three seed, Los Angeles Rams. This team has been playing consistent most of the year. Uh, Defense has been very tough to score on. And the offense is actually pretty good. Their running game has been pretty steady. Um, We'll see how the quarterback play comes to fruition in the playoff time. But uh, what what are you thinking? Are you thinking contenders or pretenders on these guys? Contenders. Because QB Jared Goff, he is looking outstanding so far. Cam Akers is looking great so far. Daryl Henderson is looking good. Cooper Cub is looking amazing. Robert Woods is also looking amazing. Tyler Higby is looking decent. And then their defense is insane with Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey and Troy Hill. Like, those are very, very good defenders. They're insanely good and the schedule ahead of them is actually not that bad and i think they can win at pretty much all of their games they're very very good and then you have an amazing head coach so i that's why i think the rams are contenders they have a great offense an outstanding defense and a fairly easy schedule ahead of them so do you think the rams are pretenders or contenders so knowing the Rams like I do, I see them twice a year with Seattle. And anyways, division rivals are always always tough. And the first game we played them, it was it was a very hard fought hard fought game. Um, the one thing that I noticed about the Rams that is vulnerable to what, to what making me think that they're pretenders uh, is there, is that the fact that uh, Jared Goff he has lots of interceptions. 
and he's prone to being rattled in the backfield. I really think that uh, a good pass rushing team, such as a New Orleans Saints or somebody like that, can actually rattle him pretty good. And I think that that could lead to problems. Um, so a team like that would have to load the box and stop the Cam Akers and Daryl Hendersons of the world and and then cause trouble for Jared Goff. Uh, the offensive line is okay, but it's not the best. Um, so they are vulnerable to being rushed by good pass rushing teams. Um, as for the defense, uh, there's not much weaknesses there, to be honest. Um, I do know that... If uh, a good offensive line can hold off Aaron Donald and Michael Brockers and those guys um, and give a quarterback time, I know that they can pick apart the secondary and stay away from Jalen Ramsey. I really do uh, think so. So there is a chance that they can lose in the playoffs. They will be a tough team to beat, though, um, but that's the reason why they'd be pretenders in my book. So moving on, let's go to the number two seeded Green Bay Packers, led by Aaron Rodgers, who's having an MVP-like season uh, with 36 touchdowns and only four picks. Uh, it's like the Renaissance man or something like that for this guy at 37 years old. Anyways, <laughs> what do you think? Are they pretenders or contenders? They're 100% pretenders. You want to know why? Because some of the games they won were just by luck. Like the Jaguars game, that was just by luck. And their defense is horrible. It's bad against the run. It's super bad. Even on special teams, it's bad. Their cornerbacks are not good. Their defensive line is worse. I know they have a pretty good offense, but their defense is not good. And they've been giving up a lot of points. And it, sometimes the Green Bay Packers offense fumbles the ball or throws interceptions like they did in the Colts game. There was too many, too many uh, turnovers in that game. So that's why I think they're pretenders. They keep winning barely by luck and their offense keeps turning the ball over and their defense is really, really not good. So do you think the Packers are contenders or pretenders? So I think they're contenders, and the main reason why is because of the experience of Aaron Rodgers. Uh, this guy is always in the top levels of quarterbacks. Um, last year was kind of a down year for him, but this year he's really picked it up. I don't know, because they maybe they drafted Jordan Love, I don't know, and he felt slighted a little bit, but all of a sudden he just come out this year and he's just playing lights out. He leads the league with touchdowns. Uh, passes and he's looking like he hasn't slowed down so he's the main reason why they're contenders uh very good running game under aaron jones he's always ready to break one loose um and of course the crop of wide receivers has stepped up especially Devonte adams that is very very good wide receiver uh so it's going to be the offense that's going to carry this team anyhow their defense may not be that great, especially against the run, but uh, they do have the Smith brothers. They can get some sacks. Um, so I think they can still just do enough on defense to get them by, especially at home at Lambeau Field, where they always seem to play very well. And so, yeah, I think as long as you have Aaron Rodgers healthy and playing as well as he is, I think they're, they're very much contenders. And finally, let's move on to the number one seed in the NFC at this time of week 13, the 10-2 New Orleans Saints. So what do you think? Are they contenders or pretenders? Surprisingly, they're pretenders. You want to know why? Because Drew Brees is hurt. And Taysom Hill is, I know he's Mr. Do-It-All, but he's a backup quarterback. And he hasn't been playing as well as Drew Brees. Taysom Hill is a mobile quarterback, and that's what he does best. He does well in special teams, and he does well running the ball like a running back. He's not the best when it comes to throwing the ball, but he is good at running it. And their offense is actually not that great. Their wide receivers, I know they have a lot of talent on wide receivers, but they haven't been really doing much. Their running backs is what's carrying them, and defenses can really stop those running backs from what I've seen. Defensive 
Lions have been getting better at stopping the run lately. So that's going to be tough for Alvin Kamara and Latavius Murray. And their wide receivers aren't really doing that much. And then their defense is what's saving their games. Their defense is actually very, very good. But that's the main reason why they're winning these games is because of their strong defense. Their offense is meh. So I'm pretty sure they might lose in the playoffs, like possibly in the wild card or maybe in the first round. So do you think the Saints are pretenders or contenders? So I'm thinking the Saints are contenders. Uh, anytime you've got Drew Brees on the team, which he is coming back from injury, hopefully in the next week or two for them, uh, like Aaron Rodgers for the Packers, uh, you've got a very good veteran quarterback who can spread the ball around and knows the system very well. Um, even Taysom Hill is doing decently. Um, yeah, he's he's the backup for a reason. But I'm thinking that Drew Brees is going to come back. And that's going to make all the difference, along with Alvin Kamara and Latavius Murray, who are having outstanding years together. Uh, Michael Thomas is looking to prove himself because he's been hurt so much this year. And I really think he's going to be ready for the playoffs, um, along with Emmanuel Sanders. And so the offense, I think, is going to be just fine scoring the ball. Uh, scoring points and as for the defense um, very good sack masters on each end I I mean you've got Cameron Jordan and you've got uh, Trey Hendrickson Uh, these are really good crashers on the quarterbacks and they can cause a lot of problems for quarterbacks like Jared Goff to make mistakes to a pretty good secondary um, Malcolm Jenkins and Marshawn Lattimore will be waiting for those type of opportunities. So I think that uh, this top-ranked defense is about number three in the league, and so I think they're ready for this this playoff push. And if they get a first-round bye as the number one seed, which is looking very possible, um, I think it's just going to be that much harder for teams to go in there and beat them. So unless they beat themselves, I think they're going to be in the Super Bowl as the NFC representative this year. So that'll do it for our special show today. Tell us what you think in the comments section below. Be sure to destroy that like button and subscribe to our channel. And by the way, don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that you'll be notified when we post a new video. Again, thank you for joining us today. This is Art. And John. Signing off.